I'm back. I'm here to uh, show you this crystal cell as I promised you. And I'm going to leave this up here so you can see the mix. Okay, and what I did was I made this mixture OM 80%, zinc sulfide 9%, carborundum, which is used in rock grinding, between 3 and 5%, depending on what works best for you. And then just a little bit of baking soda, 5% and tin oxide at three percent and then what I do is I put this in the tube before I put the copper in here and I heat this and bring it to a liquid it actually melts and it mixes all up together and melts and then it forms its crystal while it's cooling okay now I haven't put any power on the crystal at all I just left it and usually they show some amount when they're warm and then after they cool off they go to zero and then they come back okay so anyway I'm going to show you the I'm going to let you look at one here you can see I just melted it stuck the rod in because I was just experimenting with it so I'll hook it up and this one here and I noticed that they fluctuate during the day they sometimes they're high sometimes they're low okay so this is a dead short current to it so you can see that it's just holding there and I'll show you some others here this one here is a little bigger and it's iron has some iron sulfide mixed with it instead of the tin and you can see the reading on this one and you can see what they do but remember it's a short circuit here so I don't have a load resistor so I'm just shorting it out but you can see that it holds pretty well and I've done nothing to them and then this one here is another one that I put together just to try to make sure the mix works each time and this one here is the last one, so it hasn't even had any time to sit. And you can see that it's it's a little bit lower. And as it, uh, but they fluctuate during the day, so you can see as you change the mix around a little bit, you get a different current in there. So I wanted to make sure and document this that that's all I'm using I'm using safe chemicals to do this I don't want any use anything harmful and I have not done with anything with calcium yet I will as soon as I find the correct rot rock so I'll use cal calcium carbonate in the next one along with the elm and the zinc seems to help the zinc sulfide seems to help in these cells so I'm going to leave this here so you can get a good look at what I did and remember what I did was I used a propane torch after I put the material in and I heated it until it bubbled up got real gooey and then I shoved the electrode down in there and from that point I have to hold it with a third hand and let it cool at room temperature and when I do that you can see when I first do it um, when you first do this you'll get a good voltage and then it'll drop down and it'll stay at some certain level but yeah, I check it with the microamp meter because that's a dead short to it I want to see that it, that it will hold there you know at some level so I wanted to make sure that you have this mix on this group and you know exactly where I'm going I don't want to use anything that's exotic or you can't get because even though it's at a small level um, that's very important that you can do it and uh, then you can move on to uh, much more exotic chemicals if you want to spend the money and do that I'm not going to do that at this time I might I did buy five gallons of liquid glass so I'm going to uh, heat that and and bring it to a crystal and then I'm going to 
pulverize it and, uh, and I'll try some of that sodium silicate in here and I'll just keep documenting this and putting it up for you guys so you'll be on the right path you'll be following me along and you'll know what I know thanks for watching